How to make a dot to dot picture book. Hi, Kerry here from Dream Creator B and welcome to my channel where we show you how to make money online with KDP low content books and Etsy with new training every week. So be sure to hit the big red subscribe button down below. So with what am I doing today? I am showing you how to actually make a dot to dot picture in PowerPoint. This is only going to be a simple one. I will create another video later on showing you how to do a more detailed one using SVGs and removing colour and putting colour back in and putting lines and things like that. And if your images are becoming blocked or pixelated when you're using SVGs, I'll be showing you how to correct that as well. But in the meantime, let's get going with this. So I had a look at Dot to Dot for kids ages three to five. Now this is saturated, but is it? You can go in and still be making these books and actually making sales. Not only that, you can also be creating printables and selling them on Etsy or on your own site. You just need to know what you're doing. So here we are with over 10,000 results, but these are not our competitors. There's one here. This is not our competitor. It's traditionally published. Same with that one. Same with that one. But this one's telling us what they're looking for. The ages three to five are looking for dot to dots that are one to 25 or using the alphabet. Don't forget, you can do that as well. So here's one which is the bestseller and this is independently published. Look at that low BSR, 1,881. Same with this one down here. Now that is not even in here, but their keywords may be dot to dot or connect the dots and the activities may be in there as well. So another one here, but this is drip digital. They may be printing using KDP, but they've got their own imprint. So they might have their own ISBN number, but this is one here. The price is quite low because it's a create space. And a lot of the create spaces were created in 2017 and before that. And the prices are a lot cheaper because of that. It's also at age five to six so it's a bit more than what we want but I have gone in and actually checked the book inside and what you can see is it's not just a dot to dot it's got extra bits of images that you need to be adding in as well so I've also gone into the bestseller one and gone into the looking side again it is a nice book with some characters that no doubt they've drawn themselves or added in but look they've got nice backgrounds there and this is only going up to 10 again only taking some of the images and then drawn in these different things so I then went on to TCK uh, publishing to do the Amazon book sales calculator. I'll leave a link in the description. I type the BSR ranking there of 1,881. That tells us it's approximately getting 1,392 books and they're selling approximately 93 books. These these calculators aren't accurate. They all give different ranges, different things, but the T Okay, publishing one seems to be the most accurate of the lot. We don't know because Amazon keeps all that information themselves. So I went on to Tangent Template because they've got a pricing calculator. KDP has got its own pricing calculator, which is free. You can download that and that is an Excel spreadsheet. But I quickly typed it in. It's 107 pages and it's 797 and the royalty is 263. So I'm going to open a calculator up. And I'm going to type 263 times 1881, which no, which is not the amount. Let's go back. It is 263 times 1392. And that's approximately, that is not right. 263 times 1392. So approximately this book is making $3,660 a month. So this is a niche that you might be able to get into with some good promoting. We don't know what they're doing to get that. Are they promoting it on Pinterest? Are they paying for sponsored ads? Have they put it in with a parents group? Have they got it in parents forums? Have they put it on a YouTube channel that it's been reviewed? We don't know. But they are making those sales because this book is good and it is selling well. So let's move on. 
I am going to use Pixabay. Now, Pixabay, you need to be careful when you're using it. Make sure that you check that the images have not been used anywhere else. But I've decided to go and use it because I want to just show you how simple it is to do a simple dot to dot for children. So animals, illustration I've chosen. And then I chose this filter here, black and white. And then I went through and was looking for what I wanted. And eventually I found this sloth. It's missing its tree, but we can always draw that back in or find a tree that we can slot in and then slot different pictures around it so that it's a separate image. So here I went and I downloaded it. And what I chose was actually the vector SVG because I can resize it anywhere. I can go up or down and it won't pixelate. Now, if you're gonna choose the PNG version, make sure you choose the biggest one because when you resize it down, it doesn't pixelate. It will if you resize it up so as you can see I downloaded that there now I'm in PowerPoint and this is the tool I'm using so let's go on and change the design so we go to design and I want to change the size page setup and I'm going to choose eight and a half I'm not doing it with bleed and 11 because I'm not doing any fancy backgrounds or anything and because I've got nothing on I'm going to scale it up now if you had something on it maybe scaling down is a better idea so I've scaled up I'm going to get rid of that and then I'm going to insert my sloth picture from file when it works picture from file I'll go in my drop box there we go insert and look how small that is but if I'm going to just zoom in so you can see if I resize it like that you can see it's not got pixelated or anything like that so this is our image that we're going to work with now all I need to simply do is I'm going to do it to 10 I'm going to put dots around the back of him for him to draw in so I'm going to go to circle shapes and I'm just going to choose the circle tool. I'm going to draw out, hold the shift button down and it gives me a nice big circle. And I'm going to change the color to a black fill and I'm actually going to make sure that it's no outline. And then I want 10 of these. So I'm going to go control D or command D, which duplicates it. So I want nine now. One, two, three, four, five, six seven and it's gone a bit crazy so i've done seven i think one two three four five six seven eight nine okay and then i'm just going to move the dots onto the line i think they should go I only want 10 because this is the beginning of my book and it's aimed at three to five year olds. So it's the beginning. And obviously there's going to be three year olds that can count to 100. My cousin was one of them. But anyway, I wasn't one of them. But there's also going to be the standard amount. I'll just put that there. And just move that one along. So now we have got our lovely dots. All we need to do now is add the numbers. And like I said, I could do it with alphabets as well. So I'm going to choose one. You can change your writing style as well to one that might suit children. Bring up to 30. Two. And then again, duplicate one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So go here, bring that ten here as well. Nine. Eight. Six, five, four, 
three, and then just move one. So that is our picture finished. Well, at least the answer's finished. So what I now need to do is I'm going to duplicate that because I can keep it as an answer sheet if I wanted, but I need to get rid of the line. So how do I do that? Well, it's simple. I draw a shape. So insert, I go to shapes and I'm using this squibble line. Now, I'm not very good at this. If you've got Mac you can and an iPad, you can probably do sidecar and then put your pencil on it. Or if you've got a tablet that you can use a pencil on it, it might be easier. But if you're like me and you've just got a mouse, just try your best. So I'm going to circle around and it doesn't matter that I go across the numbers or even across the circles because I'm going to change the order of it. What I want to try and avoid is like that image there. And then when I get to the face, try and bring it in a bit. So I'm not cutting all the face out. And it should have created that. So now I want the shape fill and I want it white. That I went grey there. Let's go white. And I'm going to take off the outline. So it's zero. And now what I want to do is I need to use the format pane. Now, if the format pane is not on, it might be here. Or if you can't see it because you're not on shape format, if you go to home, it should be here under arrange and it should be selection pane. So here now we can see freeform is what I've selected. If I just move it below all the ovals, it should give me my shape. And that is a simple dot to dot. So obviously you could add all different things in to use. Don't forget to go to public domain vectors or any of the other free sites like Vecteasy, but you must put attribution in. Creator Fabrica sometimes has. If you've got an account with Creator Fabrica, use that. You might find things that you can then put into your dot to dot book and make it a colouring dot to dot book or an activity sheet. Hope you like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and hit the B above my head to subscribe to the channel to be notified about any other videos I make. Also, check out how to remove colour using PowerPoint with JPEGs and PNG. Also, check out my how to create a colouring book from scratch using PowerPoint with SVGs and again, removing colours with SVGs.